Okay, so let's talk about where Shiba Inu could go from a price standpoint with Shibarium looming. We are roughly one week away from the conference out in Toronto where we expect to get the launch of Shibarium. Shaitoshi Kusama in a very good mood today, and uh, a lot of people are as uh, Shib's price actually experiencing a nice little boost as well. You can see here we're on the daily time frame, and uh, that's what we've had going on here recently. Uh, here today on nice little green candle bounce back, we had two back-to-back -back really nice days on August 4th and August 5th. Of course, we spiked all the way up to that 10.33, 10.35 range, came back down, gave some back, got back into the you know high eights, and now here today we're back up into the mid nines where we've uh, spiked up here today into the 9.5, 9.6 range. So where could we go on the heels of Shibarium? Let's zoom out a little bit because we have been on a nice little uptrend since June 11th, June 10th. That was our local low point when we spiked all the way down to the 505 levels, actually, which was crazy, right? Since then, we have been on a nice little uptick, and we're trying to get through some resistance right now, some long-term resistance at this 4010 level. We weren't able to eclipse it uh, just recently in the past few days, but just maybe we can. And if we do so, where are we going next? Can we get back up into the 11s and into the 12s potentially? And just maybe on the heels of Shibarium, get back into the 14, 15 range. We're talking 40, 14, 40, 15 range, like we were back in February. I still think this is a possibility. It would help if we get a nice boost from the overall market. I don't know if we're going to get that right now. Volume is just really low, not a lot happening right now. But with Shib, uh, you know, all things are possible. We know we have a nice catalyst right now, and SHIB does have a tendency to move on its own. So I think here in the short term, we're going to see Shiba Inu break that zero again. Uh, again, my, just my prediction here, just, you know, just my thoughts. Um, I do think we'll break that zero again, and I think there's, we have an outside chance of getting back up into the 13, 14, 15 range, 4013, 4014, 4015 range on the heels of Shibarium here in the next week. And uh, we'll see if that surge happens. Now, how about Bone? A lot of people are interested in Bone as well. They're sitting right now at $1.63. Uh, uh, really nice uptrend here for Bone, too. They're on a little bit of a downturn like they were back in late July before they made another explosion. I think another big pop in the price is coming. I think a $2.30, $2.40 Bone is coming. I really do. And uh, listen, I don't have a crystal ball, uh, but I really, really like that price target like we were back up here in February where we spiked up to $2.30. I think we can get another spike. We also saw that happen back in August 2022. I think that should be our goal, and I think we can even break through that here with Bone on the heels of Shibarium launching. It's going to be exciting here over this next week. We're going to have a lot to get into, so make sure you guys are locked in, subscribing down below so you don't miss out on any of this. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And let's try to get this video to 1,000 likes. I think we can do it. It's totally free to smack the like button. It really helps us out. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.